Bet you hate staring at your screen and clicking for hours while you're just trying to grow your combat stats. So I'm going to show you some AFK combat training methods that I have personally used or recommend to newer players. And I'm sure like most of you here, just like myself, I used to train at the White Knights when I was a young kid growing up playing RuneScape. And there are way better places to train combat nowadays. Now a classic AFK method is obviously using Nightmare Zone. This is great for AFKing all your combat skills. Generally, I just use it for attack, strength, or defense. There are better ways to do your range and mage, but I'll show you here right now. So for this, you're going to want to buy overload potions if you're doing it the regular way. That's a replacement of the super combat potions. So this raises all your combat stats from 5 to 15, depending what level they are. Next, you have your absorption potion, which I recommend to drink this if you're going to be DHing down to 1 HP. So for this, uh, every sip you take will absorb 50 damage that you'll take from an NPC. So once you're down to 1 HP, like this guy is doing right here, he's going down to 1 HP. So every sip of an absor absorption potion will re result in damage being negated. So that's up to 50 damage every time, stacking all the way up to 1,000. A little confusing. Look it up if I didn't explain it too well. But for this, you're going to talk to Dominic. You're going to dream. I already have mine set for melee bosses only on Rumble Hard. It's going to cost me 16,000 GP. All the bosses. There's plenty of guides out there for the bosses to select from, but those are the bosses I'm going with. Then once in here, you can drink your absorption potion or your overload. I have super combat potions. Those are the bosses I'm going to be fighting. And do have high prayer, so I have a mix of strength gear and prayer gear on. So I have the proselyte on because that gives you good prayer bonus. And as you see here, the bosses are coming at my character. I just stand here, do nothing, auto retaliate on. I do have pretty melee on, so that's going to give me about just a little more than seven minutes of AFK time. And you can switch combat styles. You want to defense, attack, strength, what have you, and so on. Another excellent method to AFK for either melee, mage, or range is the bandit camp that any player can access. It's right here, bandit camp, right in the can in the uh, Kandaran Desert. So if players equipped a Zamrak or Ceradoman item, the bandits here will be aggressive to the player indefinitely, and you will not have to move and reset the NPC aggression timer. So as you see here, this player is using Blood Barrage, so you can stay in tier for a long period of time in AFK. And as you see, I have no Zamrock or Ceradoman item on me. Once I equipped it, they all become aggressive to me and will fight me indefinitely. This is a great AFK method. I do advise you to bring a lot of prayer potions, food, um, ways to heal up such as Blood Fury or Blood Barrage. And you can AFK this for as long as you would like. Another location to grow your melee, mage, or range would be in the Fremnik provinces up here and the northern end of the Keldegrim entrance. Here you can find rock crabs, which is the same as the sand crabs. They have really no defensive levels, so you can just hit on them. They'll probably never hit on you. This is a good training method for lower level players and new players. And I'm going to show you sand crabs, which is an alternative which everyone has transitioned over to killing. And in the kingdom of Karen, you can find sand crabs right here. You see some players are AFKing them as well. So if you just come over just like the other guys, you come over to them. These guys actually have more HP, so they have 60, so 10 more. Again, you can AFK for up to 10 minutes at a time. You will need to reset because you have that NPC aggression timer up in the left-hand corner. I have that because I have rune light active. Now for this next method, it's a little untraditional than other methods you might have seen. This is for the range method. You do want the cannon set up here with cannonballs, ranging potion, prayer potions, and you do want to come into the combat training camp. You do have to beat the biohazard quest. And as you see here, there is a player already doing this method. I'm going to hop, find a better world. All right, and as you see here, this is a pretty chill method. You just stand here with the cannon. Depending on your combat task completion, it will depend how many cannonballs you can put in here. So if you see here, my rewards, I have up to hard, so I can put up to 45 cannonballs in my cannon. Where is it? Okay, 
Dwarf Cannon can hold 15 extra cannonballs. Great. So I can hold up the 45 cannonballs, get about 45k to 55k an hour, depending on your range level. I do not promote the use of an auto clicker, but if you did have an auto clicker or some type of auto clicker, I guess you could stand here for five, six hours and totally be AFK and just constantly click on your cannon to refill it. But again, I condone the use of auto clicking, use it at your own risk. And the amount of XP you do gain here is determined by your ranged bonus that you have on. So the higher the range bonus, and obviously the higher your skill, the higher amount of XP you will gain from standing here. Obviously I have 99 range, so obviously I'm not gonna do this. It's not efficient for me to do anything past 99 range, but this is a great method. You just sit and here. You can probably click every minute or so to refill your cannon and do bring telegrab because as you see here, you might get a nice seed. Like I just got a Rainar seed. Another great spot to AFK for range and actually melee as well. Like this guy is on Fossil Island killing the Anamite Crabs. This will be a 10 minutes of fully AFK. Once you stand next to a crab, they just automatically stand up. And after 10 minutes, you will have to run and reset. So all along the edge of various spots around Fossil Island, you can find the crabs, mostly on the beaches up here in the north. There's a spot up here above the boat. And then down here in the corner where I am, you might have to hop a little bit to find an empty world. But for the most part, it's pretty chill. And if you do happen to get unident unidentified fossil drops, you can take the tool cleaning kit here. You put the gloves and the boots on and clean it on the workbench. As long as you have this built just east of the bank. And I got a small rib. So I'm going to go ahead over here and open up my fossils that I have. So small, medium, large, plant, rare, and unidentified. Those are the ones I just cleaned. So once you have a complete set like I have here, small fossils, you go to the Varrock Basement Museum and turn it in for XP lamps. A great AFK mage training method, which does require 86 magic and completion of the Dream Mentor quest, and you have to be on the Lunar Spellbook, is plank making. So right now I'm using Mahogany Logs because that's a great GP. So come down here and we can cast plank making. You need some GP in your inventory, but here you are. You get about kind of loud, kind of annoying, but you do get about 90 seconds of AFK time and 90 XP per cast. And it's a good money maker as well. Now I realize not everyone may have 86 mage to get all the way up to 99 and to AFK that or have the dream, men dream mentor quest completed. So you could also high elk. You can get about 45 to about 50K an hour high elking. And there's various items that you can high elk for profit. Right now I'm just doing battle staves. So I'll show you right here. You buy them in the GE for 9K and you can high elk them for 9,300. So with the nature rune being 100 GP, you're making about 200 GP every high elk. So it's also a great money maker. And you just put the item over here in the right hand corner, right under where the high elk spell is. And again, I guess you could auto click this, um, do that at your own risk. And one and final great method for mage training AFK is enchanting jewelry using the level one enchantment spell. We're gonna enchant some opal. You do need level seven mage so i mean everybody has that you click it once and you click on the item in your inventory you click on it once and your character will automatically do all of them so this will give you about a minute of afk time it's a little bit slow the xp is not great but if you're a low level you could make some money doing this and it's afk and a sort of afk prayer method is using blessed bone shards on the liberation bowl I'll show you how to do that in a second, but you do need Sunflower Splinters with your Jug of Wine to make a Jug of sunfly Sunfire Wine. And there are a few ways you can obtain Blessed Bone Shards by doing activities in Volimore, but the easiest one is just mining the Calcified Rocks. I'll show you where to do that in a second here. So another way you can do this is by using any bone in the game and just using it on the exposed altar and then you can break it down for the blessed bone shards. Also, this is where you will use your jug of sunfly sun I can't even say this word, sunfire wine and you'll be 
Oh my God. And you'll bless it here at the altar. Here you can mine the calcified rocks wall here. And you do get 33 mining XP. This is also an AFK mining method as well. All right, so once you think you have enough blessed bone shards and your jugs of blessed sunfly, sun, see, I literally can't say that word, sunfire wine, you're going to come over here to the liberation bowl. And as long as you have full prayer and just spam click this bowl right here and you're getting a crap ton of XP. And if you run out of prayer, no problem. There's a little altar over there. Just run up there recharge your prayer, and do it all over again. And the combination of another great AFK method for prayer is anytime you're killing an NPC and you have the Bone Crusher or the Ash Sanctifier in your inventory and activated, you will be granted half the amount of XP as you would if you buried it normally. So as you see there, I just got 8 XP for a giant bone after killing a hill giant. And I'm about to kill a... Blood Valve, and this is going to give me ashes, and they will also be automatically buried for half the amount of XP. And as you see right there, 12 XP. So this is great when you're AFKing, usually in the catacombs of Karen, if you have the Holy Wrench on you as well, and you are burying bones, uh, some of your prayer points will be automatically restored as well. Slayer is great. It's one of my most favorite skills in the game. I'm going for 99 and it's so easily AFKable in the Catacombs of Karin. I mean, most of the NPCs here that you do get on task are just aggressive to you. So like the Greater Demon task, a Black Demon task. So if you just come over here and pray melee to any monster, I think they're all melee for the most part in here. And you can AFK for 10 minutes at a time before you do have to reset your timer. Again, you bring your Ash Sanctifier or your Bone Crusher for that passive um, prayer XP you'll be getting from either Bones or Ashes when an NPC dies. So you're going to see it again right here in a second. So there we go. 33 prayer XP. So Slayer is actually the only skill where you can do six skills at once. So if you have on a Whip or a Halibur or a Spear or something... When you put that on shared XP, you'll be getting attack, strength, defense, and HP. And along with, you can get some prayer. And then obviously, you'll be getting Slayer XP. So Slayer, you can grow six skills at once. There are tons of NPCs in the Catacombs of Karin that are aggressive to you at all times, such as the Anku, the Twisted Banshees, if you're killing those, along with the Deviant Spectras. So these guys... Are one of the only monsters in here that you have to pray mage to and you can just stack them all up see i have all five of them going at me right now 10 minute timer and you could just sit here in afk for 10 minutes and just make sure you're fully prayed up and potted up another great location to afk slayer is the slayer tower and the swamp here you can kill gargoyles and they will be aggressive to you for up to 10 minutes and then you will have to run away and reset the timer I don't have a task right now, so I can't kill those, but that's also a great AFK method. Thank you all again so much for watching. If you did enjoy, do hit that subscribe button as it is the easiest way to support me. And stay tuned for part two, a method to AFK every skill in the game.